All right, so I wanted to go through uh, another little project that I've got going on here. Um, this is the yoke in the Lockheed 12, um, the one that's currently in it, and it actually came out of a Lodestar, I think. Um, and the problem with it is it, it's pretty wide. It, it's nice uh, uh, being open on the top because you can see back in the instrument panel, you can see the, the instrument panel in the Lockheed is is kind of tight. It's, uh, it's kind of like a DC-3, but it's a lot smaller. And so when you're sitting up in the cabin, it's kind of hard to see the, the instruments that are up here closer to the top because you're kind of looking down and there's a dash here. And so they put these lodestar yokes in here to try to to be able to see over the top of the yoke but the problem with them are, is that they're so long that when you go to turn you can see there's very little space between your knee down here and the yoke because you got to remember the yoke is back here um, when you're actually when the thing's flying straight and level and so the yoke is you know right pretty close to your leg and, and in fact uh, anyone with with uh, larger legs it actually hits um, and so what I did to start with is we came over here and Joe the the guy Joe that I bought the airplane from actually had the original yokes that came in the Lockheed 12 um, and so I manufactured a little plate up here just to test this so that I could put my mic switch and stuff because back in the day they didn't have uh, mics like we have now they actually used the the hand mic um, so they they actually picked the mic up and there was a, there is a speaker in here that you'd actually hear on and then you would talk over that um, so I got the mic switches and stuff in here but the problem with this thing I actually like it um, from the sense that it you know it's got the the top on it and, and it's just more comfortable to fly but the downside to this yoke as you can see is it completely blocks everything that's up in front of the yoke um, so the two most important instruments are those two G5s that are sitting there in the center of the stack and and when you're sitting here in this position you can't see those things at all so what i'm trying to do now is when this airplane was originally purchased back in the 80s i noticed from the pictures that it actually had beach 18 yokes in it and the beach 18 yokes are a lot smaller than than either one of these and so i am looking at putting the beach 18 yokes back in here and i'm having to manufacture a an adapter because this actually has a straight through uh bolt with a with a pin in it it was a shear pin and the beach 18 just has three bolts that that it bolts onto the the system with in the beach 18. so i'm making up a plate and before i actually make the plate i am uh, putting it into a CAD system and working out the thickness and and the size of everything so that we make sure that everything's going to line up when we get ready to make it. Um, so I'm going to go through in this video and kind of show what it is I'm doing exactly uh, to, to try to make sure that all this stuff fits and that it's going to work before we put it in the airplane. Okay, so what we are doing is, and I'm going to I will uh, video some of the uh, screen over here too. But so what we're doing is I've got the original yoke and you can see that the original yoke has got a, a round hole. It's got a, a, a bolt that goes through it. It slides through and it has a key in the bottom that, that actually keeps it in place. Um, so this thing bolts through and has a, a nut that goes on it that holds holds it to the yoke holds it to the uh, airplane. So what I am doing is I've got this round hole, but and you can kind of see here the difference between the the yoke out of a Beach 18 and the yoke out of the original Lockheed and the yoke out of the Lodestar. So it's they're three totally different yokes, but you can see how much bigger this yoke is than than the beach 18 and so with the beach 18 which again was what was in the airplane when it was purchased in 1988 or 87 
Um, so it, it originally had these yokes in it and, and it looks like they're going to work pretty good. So what we are doing is you'll notice even on the beach 18. So, so my beach 18 was designed in, or was uh, produced in 1948. Um, and so even in 1948, you were still using the, the little pickup mics that you have in a, like in an 18 wheeler these days. Um, so there wasn't anything on the yoke. There's no holes or anything on here to actually mount a push to talk switch and an autopilot switch and, and all that kind of stuff. So the, I'm going to turn my phone off here so we don't have to sit here and listen to 7,000 beeps. Um, so what we're doing and you'll notice that with this yoke there's actually three holes and the center is actually open so there's nothing on this that has a key in it and so what we're doing is i have used the uh the cad application that that i've got here let me make sure i don't know if this is still running um, i'm using a, a cad system on my and it's actually shaper 3d that I'm using inside of my iPad to draw up the parts that I need. And then I'm going through right now, I'm making them on a 3d printer so that we can see how they fit before we actually go to the trouble of making them. So, um, right now I've made a, a piece of, of plastic here. I probably should have made it a little bit thicker. I made it about 50 thousandths thick just to, because that's about the size of metal that I'm looking at using. Um, but basically what is going to happen, is this is going to mount through the three holes here and then we'll have the the other bolt will actually come up through here to to attach now I'm, I'm actually in the process i've made up i've modeled up the adapter plate and the this plate but basically what's going to happen is this piece will will mount in here and then i'll have a push to talk and the autopilot switch mounted in in that location um, so that'll give me i'll still have full access to the to the yoke over here to use it and then i'll have the push to talk right here by my thumb so that that should work out nice enough um, again i'm doing them all in 3d in on the 3d printer first to make sure that everything's going to fit good before i actually go start making parts but Still working on this thing's about an inch thick, so it's got quite a quite a ways to go. But if you look down here, you can kind of see how thick it is already. So we're back this morning. The part has finished printing and get it broke off of the table here maybe sometimes sometimes these things it's really better to take it off while it's still warm but there is the adapter that we're going to be using on the yoke itself so this or not on the yoke but it's the piece in between. So we'll go take a look at where, where this piece is gonna go and how all this stuff is gonna work. We have the yoke off of here and uh, that is about straight. Maybe a little bit to the left there, but so that's about straight. You notice the, the key in the bottom down here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our new piece and it's going to slide in here and then we're going to line up the the key and then it'll get a nut that goes on there to hold it on so that's what we're going to work on next we've got this piece in um and then we've got a nut here now the the next thing that we got to work out is the back of the beach 18 yoke does not have enough room or the inside piece does not have enough room for this nut to fit in, in it. So I've got to work out exactly how we're going to get all this to fit together. But, um, 
it's kind of coming together. So this is what I'm going to be making. We've already made, like I said, the, the push to talk switch and the autopilot switch. We've already made the plate that those are going to mount to. And now what I've got to do now is put this on the mill and actually mill this piece out so that we get exactly what we're looking for here. Once we get that done, we'll cut the keyway in it with the brooch and then we'll mount the real piece in here. And then this nut is going to be our next, our next thing to, to take a look at. So we have the piece made that we got off of the 3D printer. This is the yoke. So the yoke is going to mount into the airplane like this. This piece is going to mount to the back of this. And then the plate that I had, I don't have it sitting here in front of me, but the plate is actually going to mount over here, which we've made the actual plate now so I can use it instead of the plastic piece that I made on 3D printer because we've confirmed that it all works. And then these bolts will go down through here and then this is going to be uh, tapped uh, holes and so this will just screw into here like so. So we'll have three of these that go in and get tapped in there and there and there. And then this piece will actually bolt to the instrument inside or the the control system inside so this will be a permanent fixture in the airplane and then the yoke will bolt on to here so now what we're going to do is actually get an airplane take the old yoke out and and then come back in and assemble this so we can kind of see how it's all going to work tighten these three bolts down but what we've got here is we've got this guy in we've got the nut tightened i gotta tighten it down but we got the nut tightening in here. We got our plate over here that our push to talk switch and the autopilot disconnect will go to. And then we'll, I'll, I'll end up making a cap to go around this, this thing to kind of put, put something over the top of that. But that is what we're looking at. The adapter looks like everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna have to put a couple of spacer uh, washers back here on the back, which is not a big deal because they were on here before. So we'll get the washers on, get this thing tightened down, screw these things on, and then we'll see how this thing's gonna actually work. All right, so we got the keyway cut in here now. We got everything threaded. So now we're just gonna paint this up and get it ready to install in the airplane. So we've got this piece mounted in here. 
I've got to wire up the old uh, wires to the new switches. Um, and then we'll be putting the nut on here with the plate. And then we'll put the yoke on it. The yoke will mount to these three holes. So we are almost done.